السلام عليكم المحاضرة رقم ثلاثة for immunology it's the second slides that's why it says lecture two is actually the second number of slides so we are beginning with the talking we are increasing يعني شوف course of immunity I'm really trying to كون عندنا كور ايديا اند ذن ستارت تو اكسباند اون ات نكبرها شوي 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 ويز ايتش ليكشر بعدين راح يكون عندنا فيو سبيسيفيك ليكشرز اباوت سبيسيفيك توبكس فيو ويل سي ذات وي ار وي ار اولويز كومينج باك تو اور سنتر وبعدين نتوسع اكثر فوي وير منشننج سمثينج حكينا عنه شيء اسمه كان الاكيوت فيز ريسبونس اذا بتذكروا حكينا مثلا بالاكيوت فيز ريسبونس ون اوف ذا ثينجز ذات اي نيد تو دو مثلا انه اي واز Releasing proteins to capture iron. حكينا بالiron لأنه مهم هذا في الgrowth. حكينا محاضرة الgrowth. So I'm I'm sending proteins to capture iron. So I'm increasing the binding capacity for my iron to take it away from bacteria. So I have other proteins that I make, and this is called the acute phase response. There are many many proteins that are produced by the liver, and they are part of رأيكونه part of the innate immunity because they are always Present and the liver always has them ready. They they can have neurotransmitters. They're always ready in in, in vesicles. Once you need them, you release them into the immune system to the blood. So it is the liver production and release of these immunity proteins into the plasma. How do we measure acute phase response proteins? في واحد من البروتينات رح نحكي عنه لما نحكي عن محاضرة ال 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 streptococci. Something called C-reactive protein. It is reactive to a special. This is a protein that we just know reactive to a part of this of the of streptococcus. So, if it increases CRP, it means that the 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 body is in a state of increased immunity. It is a state of inflammation. So, we were in in the in the in the weekly meeting, and one of the students asked. Is inflammation part of the innate immunity or part of the immunity or the adaptive immunity? It is actually part of both. Thus, the acute response, the acute inflammation, who بطلع لك هون acute phase response, اللي بطلع لك في acute inflammation, where neutrophils are the dominant cells, هذا راح يكون part of your innate immunity. Later on, becomes more adaptive as lymphocytes invade and become the the dominant cell. فـ CRP راح تكون منو اللي هو زي ما حكينا من منوز binding proteins، iron binding proteins. There are a huge number of of these proteins that are released in the acute phase response. هذولا again again they are all part of the innate immunity and thus they act non-specifically towards the threats. زي ما حكينا بالمحاضرة الماضية إنه they are pathogen pattern recognition molecules. So some of them. Some uh, interleukins and tumor necrosis factor are pro-inflammatory cytokines. They enhance the inflammatory response. They increase these uh, by macrophages and they, as they encounter uh, microorganisms. So this question was also an interleukin one. So yes, interleukin one is not an an, uh, an activator. It is a recruiter. So it is a signal. One of the signals. We will talk about it. We will talk about other things. But it is a signal alongside interleukin six and tumor necrosis factor that. Yeah, I'm a macrophage. I have I have met a foreigner. I need to tell the liver, you know, I'm feeling the horn too many foreign microorganisms. I need to tell the liver, you know, now we need to start our acute acute phase response. So it sends these signals. It's picked up by liver cells to release their supply of acute phase reactants. Once these hadwala busalu in the blood, they from the macrophages they release the inducer production and release of these. Uh, proteins. Uh, complex of proteins that enhance the inflammation are called an inflammasome. So these are the complex proteins which to increase uh, in the inflammatory response. These proteins increase inflammation by manufacturing interleukin 1. Again, like we mentioned, this is the on switch for our uh, inflammasome. It yeah, increases in a non specific protease activity which breaks down protein non specifically. This is your on switch. الاوف سويتش ضيف صفر ورا ال الواحد واحد از اون وان از اون اون اوف واحد اوف وان انترلوك ان 10 ذاتس هاو اي اولويز ريمبر ات وان اي واز ا ستودنت سو وان 10 اون 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 اوف انترلوك ان 10 از ذا اوف سويتش ات از ذا انهبيتوري 
cytokine. So it is alongside TGF beta. These are the anti-inflammatory cytokines that restore hemostasis. أي شيء عندك بالجسم, if you turn it on, you have to have an off switch. Otherwise, it will keep going. It will it will cause disease. Actually, it will keep going on and 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 cause destruction. So you have to have an off switch to rein it in. You have everything is in homeostasis. Everything is balance is in balance. So to balance the inflammation, interleukin one, you switch it off with zero, and become uh, with interleukin ten. So a mechanism of how some of these acute phase proteins function. Uh, they bind the surface of bacteria and activate the complement system. We're talking about complement system. How it non-specifically, we have mentioned it non-specifically, bind parts of the bacteria that makes them able, that makes our macrophages, our, our phagocytes, able to engulf these uh, foreigners. And also, we have the ability to increase. Uh, uh, the, the, inf the the inflammatory response with these uh, acute with these uh, complement system, and which also can they also can, can can make membrane attack complexes and destroy some certain bacteria. So uh, complement system is also now part of our acute phase reactants. Your complement system, your innate complement proteins that recognize. Patterns, high patterns that are present in all microorganisms, foreigners. How the whole difference the human response that is adaptive and the human response that is innate. My innate part, Hakina, recognizes molecules that are always only used by foreigners. To use, for this building block. استخدم هال 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 building block على ما حد بستخدمه أنا جسمي ما بستخدمه نهائيا. That means this is a good target إنه أستخدمه as non self. مثلا أنا ما بستخدم خلينا نحكي طوب أحمر في خلاياي. أنا خلاياي كلها طوب أس أبيض. إذا بيجيني خلية عليها طوب أحمر معناته هاي مش إلي أكيد مش إلي. So that's a good target for something to use as non self. Self versus non self. This is what is used in the our innate system. اللي هو مثلا بال complement system. بال PAMPs. بالتول لايك -like ريسبتورز بال all these things هلا اذا انا بدي اصير اعمل a protein against things that i also have building blocks that i also have مثلا amino acids i have amino acids and bacteria have amino acids bacteria make proteins and i make proteins بس انا ما بعرف هذا البروتين الي ولا مش الي so that's how we can make now this way i would need to make an antibody something specific لهالبروتين الفلاني تبع the spike protein for COVID, for example. I need to make a specific protein against the capsule for uh, Cryptococcus pneumonia because it, it is made up by building blocks that are also, I, I also need, I also use, but the shape of their protein is different than my proteins, so I need to make an antibody, something that is quite specific to these, to these building blocks that are shaped differently than mine. I really hope that you understood this part. This is the very important bit that can differentiate uh, self versus non-self in the adaptive versus non-adaptive humoral response. فرقم اثنين of the your acute phase reactant as an, an innate uh, humoral response acute phase reactants رقم اثنين اللي هو your complement system which can also bind. فخلصنا هاي complement system حكينا عن other acute phase reactants the C-reactive protein اللي هو the one that you test in the blood to assess the inflammatory status of the body. هل أنا an acute phase response status ولا لا so I test C-reactive protein to see is عالي معناته أنا أيام is عواطي I'm not so uh, CRP is uh, the C-reactive protein that binds the carbohydrate cell wall of citrococcus pneumonia and starts the complement system so شو أشياء اللي بتزيد what are the things that we can see that increase in the acute phase response complement C-reactive protein, non-binding lectins, coagulation factors, obstinance, so uh, ferritin, hakina, iron binding, and internalization proteins. So things that I reduce, ish, I'm, uh, and the coagulation, I'm reducing the coagulation, so antithrombin, transferrin, so I am I'm reducing the iron in the blood, albumin, ما بدي أعطيكم أكلي, I'm going to reduce the albumin عنكم, so. Um, 
that's how you يعني that's how you can remember it, but it's it's actually something um, there's more to it than that. So the positive and that's the negative. The adult negative هم بيقلوا بال acute phase response and positive هم بيزيدوا بال acute phase response. So the major positive ones in هم مثلا CRP as markers for inflammation. Uh, innate immunity defenses. So defenses these are peptides that are created again with a high positive charge that would result once they bind the cell surface in creating pores in the membrane of bacterial cells and that would obviously lead to their um, destabilization of their cell wall and their uh, membranes. It is unknown how these proteins are aimed at non-self but they have pattern recognition receptors receptors that can bind these they can only bind these patterns that are not present in our in our body. Uh, so they have very good significant activity against gram positive and mycobacteria اللي اللي يكون عندهم ما عندهم outer cell outer uh, membrane. So uh, however, these are present on mucous membranes only and are important part of the innate immunity of the oral mucosa. هاي نقطة كتير مهمة لكم تعرفوهم إنه uh, that's how a lot of the gram positives and the mycobacteria are uh, are negated in the in the oral cavity. They are very good predictors of oral health. The patients who have low amount of defenses have more gingival disease. And this is important. There are no, uh, two different types of defenses, alpha and beta, uh, uh, for neutrophils and uh, are discovered in neutrophils and pan cells. And they are either in the intestinal crypts mostly and contain a specific type of defenses, whereas respiratory tract produce beta defenses. So that's what we need to know about defenses. This is just uh, an, a dentistry oriented uh, part of the innate immune, immune system. Which I do command and know they have antiviral activity. So they can interfere with the ability of the HIV virus to bind the CXCR4 receptor, which is which what it uses to internalize itself into protein into the cells. So uh, patients in the Adam Dullu HIV positive and they do not progress into the CD count, CD4 count, Mabins, the Nukta have full blown AIDS, in, 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 in their HIV status and they don't progress into AIDS. That might be a possible explanation is the, is the antiviral activity of alpha defenses that can uh, reduce the internalization of HIV into cells and maintain. Uh, some, someone in their uh, HIV status and not progress into AIDS. Other antiviral uh, innate immunity proteins uh, APO, BE, C3G, apolactic protein, B, RNA, editing enzyme. Uh, it works against. Uh, Retroviral infections, in home issue, يعني, viruses that can uh, produce DNA out of RNA. So this works by introducing hypermutations in the DNA that is produced by these cells. So كون عندي هالبروتين جاهز لما تيجي DNA تبع دول retroviruses and they want to make they put their RNA and they start to make their DNA from the RNA. I I I have this protein which introduce very high mutations in the DNA and. Uh, destroy the DNA for the virus and the virus will not be able to incorporate good DNA into the cell and then the, the, the DNA will not produce the correct proteins and that will is that will prevent the, the, the virus from replicating. Uh, interferons, Kulhom, Alpha, Beta and Gamma all will have antiviral uh, properties. I think one of them, the, the default and one of the uh, classic function of these interferons is is uh, other than هلا صاروا يستخدموا as immune modulators يستخدموا في مثلا in 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 um, مثلا uh, uh, some self inflammatory disease مثلا inflammatory diseases where where the body reacts against itself so it is called auto inflammatory diseases I am reacting against myself some of the new medication use interferons and types of interferons at different uh, concentrations to counteract that, but the classic picture, the classic function of interferons, 
is that they have antiviral properties. Basically, they alert the cells in the fe virus. They tell the cells that there is an invader. So they switch their shu'i yani switch. What what turns what is a switch? Bikhaliya switch. the DNA. So DNA, I, I, I change the transcription rate of certain proteins. I have certain genes that are always, I turn on in an antiviral state. I turn on in, in this kind of state. I turn on in these kind of states. So I have different kind of makeup of genes for each uh, state that I need to counteract, I, will, I need to produce in. So in an antiviral state, you have to turn on certain protein synthesis. So uh, these interferons alert all the cells that they need to be in this kind of uh, antiviral status and then uh, they are made within uh, so they prevent the viral protein synthesis that are made inside the viral infected cells because the virus is my own ribosomes to make its own protein so that's how alpha and beta interferon can work in the gamma interferon Gamma interferon works mainly to enhance macrophages and phagocytes to make more MHC1 and MHC2 proteins. We will, we, will, we will cover this more later, but basically I am enhancing my ability to detect viruses inside cells because if the chalia is infected, it will produce viral proteins and will put those viral proteins on MHC1 and then I want to present this on, on APCs with MHC2. So gamma interferons enhances these two functions. Adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity. We know that it is uh, the main properties of this immunity. It is it is specific. So it works against a specific organism. Yeah, influenza H one N one only. You will not be immune to all influenzas. Only H one N one. So it improves over time. So. Every time you meet H1N1, you will be stronger and stronger and stronger and more hyper and better. This immunity can only be developed after exposure. You will never be, you will never have specific antibodies or adaptive response against H1N1 before meeting it. You have to meet it. Yeah, you meet it. Yeah, you get infected by it. Yeah, you get the vaccine. So you can develop the immunity against it. It has memory. So every time you make a clonal proliferation, you met a specific antigen that I need to make cells for Talat Khalaya, CD4, CD8, and B cells, all of them as they proliferate, they make memory cells, they put aside some cells that become memory cells. And it depends on cells to produce its response. It is not uh, self-produced, so you need antibody producing cells, helper T cells, cytotoxic T cells. And it has to have to, to be all of them, all of this has to be activated by antigen presenting cells. So it is activated by the innate system, the human APCs that are part of the innate system because their function is always to uh, always gulp up and, 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 and gobble up all these. Or I will eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. If I find a foreigner, then I will uh, go present it to uh, the, the adaptive. Immunity. So the central law, هون حكيناها. هلا في سؤال إذا سألنا مثلاً هل الماكروفاج إمتى الماكروفاج بتنقي بدها to present antigen ولا ضلها شغال إنيت وضلها تأكل بالخلايا ولا تأكل بال بال whatever. No, the macrophage always is always uh, working as a phagocyte. It was always اشتغل بال phagocyte. Once it finds uh, a foreigner. With these all these molecules that are pattern recognition foreigner this is a foreigner once it finds a foreigner then it will process the antigen and will go present it I will present I will not present it will always present once it finds a foreign protein so phagocytosis made by microbes macrophage or dendritic cell methadone innate immunity to the phagocytosis destroy the microbes and secrete cytokines for the acute phase response through cytokines, so we know them now, and promote release of acute phase proteins in Mahakena. The acquired immunity is to go present the antigens to the CD4 helper T cells. Now we are going to go to نقطة أو يعني an expansion, which means the active versus passive immunity. 
What is active immunity? What is passive immunity? Active immunity is the resistance to a microorganism after a second exposure to it. فمعناته, if I, زي ما حكينا بالspecific immune response, إذا أنا, I met the virus before, or the bacteria, or the microorganism, I made CD4 cell, CD8 cell, B cells, the ELO, I have memory, then I will have an active immunity to it, whether I met it or I met the vaccine. So, معناته, إذا أنا, I'm making, I, I made my own, I can make my own immune response against this microorganism, which, whether it's humoral or cellular, then I have an active immunity. So, this contact, yeah, as I'm talking, you, you, you previously was, were infected by this H1N1, مثلا, or you previously were vaccinated with live weakened killed organism, or a protein of this microorganism, Whatever I gave you in the vaccine, I may give you the ability of your system to make its cell its own immunity. So it has its own active immunity. So having an active immunity means that your body is able to make its own response with the help of previous memory, مثلا, help or T cells. Advantage, مثلا, it is long-term strong immunity. If you take the vaccine, it will be less than one year, مثلا, certain vaccines that can give you active immunity for at least one year. Or more, بعض vaccines for life, بعضهم عشر سنين أو بصير قل بعد هيك. So it is long term, very strong immunity. سما حكينا it is low because it is part of the adaptive response. هلا the passive immunity, إني أخ أخلي patient ما عنده the ability, ما عنده the active immunity. أخلي عنده immunity. Uh, بدون ما هو جسمه يعمل السلو ريسبونس بدون ما عمل سي دي 4 سيلز يلاقيهم ولا انت بريزنتيشن ولا شيء هاو دو اي دو ذس اذا انا بعطيه اوريدي بري ميد انتي باديز لهال لهال مايكرو اورجانيزم بعطيه اياهم هذا هو مثلا بعض بعض الانواع مثلا نعطي مثلا انتي توكسين او وات ايفر ذس از وات ات از اي جست جيفينج يو اوريدي بري ميد انتي باديز سو ناو يو ار اميون against this uh, bacteria, this virus, as you are being infected now, and then yourself, your body will not, next time does not have memory. It was, it never met this, this the, the actual protein or the actual microorganism. But I give you antibodies من واحد تاني, واحد تاني عنده active immunity. أخذت منه الدم, سيرم, أخذت سحب من السيرم من الانتيبوديز وعطيت على واحد تاني. الأولان اللي أخذت منه, he has active immunity. التاني اللي أعطيته, he, who never met this, Virus is now now has passive immunity. هذا the passive immunity ما رح ما رح ضل على على طول. أدم هذول ال ال antibodies موجودين هالجسم قبل قبل ما يتكسروا. هم هاي الجسم الفترة أنت رح تكون فيها covered by the passive immunity. هلا so the the patient that I gave the passive immunity to, زي ما حكينا is only covered as long as these antibodies survive within their uh, so this is usually in, this is usually used for hosts that cannot mount a response. ليش استخدم الحكي؟ ليش ما أنا أعطي فاكسين أحسن لي؟ وصير عنده active immunity بدل ما بدل ما أنا أظني أعطي antibodies. Why? What is the main point here? Is because رقم هاي رقم the other thing is we can't wait for the slow response of the host. مثلاً واحد صار معه هلا H one N one أو صار معه هلا COVID أو هلا صار معه uh, tetanus. I can't wait for him to make antitoxin uh, 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 antibodies with the spoor, spoorin, lamasi, and the antibodies because uh, this virus or this bacteria is going to kill him within three days. Shu basawi ana, baruch baati, mathalan, serum, or baati, mathalan, antibodies, again from wahat tani, baati, passive immunity, to cover him now while he is in severe disease right now. Ubaati, kaman vaccine. To make his own immunity, next time he meets the same virus or bacteria, next time he will have active immunity. But for this time, if so he can survive, I will give him passive immunity. So that's the main reason we use passive immunity, because we sometimes we cannot wait for the slow response of the host to amount. من أشياء كتير مهم نستخدم إلها passive immunity, diphtheria, tetanus, botulism, certain viruses كمان هلا في أنواع في ناس نستخدمه كمان Passive immunity to cover people with severe COVID as well. So other uses of passive immunity, uh, Hep A, B, rabies against certain viruses in during their incubation period so they can li limit the replication and reduce the span of infection and, and cause 
quicker resolution. IgG pass from birth and IgA from nursing. هلا الطفل is هل الطفل عنده active immunity against anything؟ عادة بيطلع الولد ستيرا ما عمره شاف إشي. So how do I cover him until he makes some active immunity? ف the design من رب العالمين إنه the mother's immunity. The mother عن mother عمرها عشرين ثلاثين أربعين سنة whatever. It has a, a good active immune response. It has a lots of memory, lots of antibodies. So all her antibodies, كل ال IgG تبعها, the more specific, بروح وكلها مش ال IgM. Only the IgG will pass through, and with the IgG, IgA will pass through the uh, placenta and stay in the in the in the in the uh, baby. So هدول الانتيبوديز بضلهم بضلهم قبل قبل ما يتكسروا ويخلصوا بضلوا تقريبا ست اشهر. So the baby is covered by the mother's immune system for six months. خلال هالست اشهر it will meet up the, the more common things that it is in environment and start mounting up its own immunity. Immune immunity. عشان هيك احنا بنبلش الفاكسينز امتى؟ عادة من البداية اخر مثلا اول سنة ببلش اعطيه عم ببلش الفاكسين. Some vaccines that we can give at birth as well. So uh, to 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 have the baby or to have the, yeah, the infant start his own immunity. Should advantages of passive immunity obviously hakina fast response. I need it right now. I need to work right now. But again, the disadvantage is no. It's subject to stock. يعني أنا بدي بدي I have to replicate it من من واحد وأخذه عنده وأخبيها وأحطها بالثلاجة وأبشر شو. If I have مثلا زي ما هلا بصير, I have lots of patients that need passive immunity. I don't have enough. So it has a short lifespan. ما راح يضلوا عنده passive immunity طول عمره. He will be covered just for a few weeks or something for these antibodies as they have half life. ضلهم يقلوا يقلوا. Sometimes these antibodies they can produce. إذا كانوا معمولين مثلاً horse مثلاً horse antibodies horse IgG against مثلاً botulism whatever. So you might have hypersensitivity against horse proteins and that is a side effect. Uh, passive active we can give antibodies to protect the short term ma azam hakina na'ti vaccine kama ashan so they can have active immunity uh, we must give at different uh, sites ahyanan so as to not to neutralize yani ma ta'ti injection the antibody ma the vaccine nafs al makan ta'ti the vaccine jiha if one arm مثلا the other arm you give so you cannot neutralize the vaccine with the antibody active passive immunity is the procedure to use antitoxin and then give us uh, a bad infection, tetanus, rabies, and viral infections, hepatitis. Fa, this is, these are the characteristics between active and passive immunity. So active immunity, mediators, the antibodies and the T-cells. Passive immunity, you don't give T-cells, you only give antibodies alone. Advantages, active immunity, obviously this is for long duration, and it is slow. This is immediate and that it is this this that is short only can remain for a few weeks. هلا هلا يعني بضلنا نحكي antibody antigen antibody antigen so I'm I'm producing this antigen let's 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 expand a little bit about what is an antigen and why is it so specific to antibodies. عادة antibody antigen are the 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 things that are opposite to each other. تمام تحكي مثلا مفتاح وقفل antigen antibody. هذا الانتيجين ما إله مفتاح إلا القفل هذا ما إله مفتاح إلا المفتاح الفلاني. So that's the relationship between antigens and antibody. It's a key and lock. This lock can only be opened by a certain key, and this key can only open a certain lock. So this is what an uh, antigen is only the molecule that reacts with its own specific key, its own specific antibody. Sometimes we say an immunogen, which is an antigen that can precipitate an immune response. We define the antibody by the antigen, and we define the antigen by the antibody. So since we must have the first to have the other, is a can anti protein ma bi'mal antibody, it is not an antigen, basically. So uh, that's a very important actually piece of uh, information. So antigens can be peptides, lipids, or sugars, can be any molecule. So antigens are immunogens, but immunogens and also can be antigens. Now we're going to talk about a very important 
راح تعمل ديفينيشن لقدام وراح كثير نعتمد عليها انه بما انه انتجنز ار كان بي بيبتايدز ليبيدز او شوجرز هاو ايفر اونلي بيبتايدز كان انديوس ان اميون ريسبونس ان ان ادابتيف اميون ريسبونس سنس ليش ليش هالحكي بيكوز ام اتش سي بروتينز ام اتش سي 1 ام اتش سي 2 ام اتش سي 1 يعني ايش ام اتش سي 2 المهمه ايه هي انتجن بريزنتيشن So I can only present antigens that are made up of proteins, are made up of peptides. So I'll be going over that in the next lecture. So I can only react to peptides to make an adaptive immune response. Like I'll see in the future that this is actually we have a way to circumvent this. Non-peptides are also antigens, but they're not immunogens. They don't usually cause antibodies to get formed on their own. This is the point that we're going to talk about now. So on their own, non-peptides can't make an immune response. Peptides on their own can make an immune response. كل هذا النقطة ليش? Because MHC proteins can only bind to peptides and nothing else, not lipids, not sugars. So the distinction is very needed due to the presence of few molecules. رح اسمهم haptins. رح نحكي عنهم هلا. And just show at showcase an example where both how the two mechanisms can cross react مع بعض. Haptins usually are small molecules, so uh, some of them are maybe larger, and some commonly encountered examples of haptins are the drug penicillin and some plant oils, for example, with poison ivy or poison oak. So haptins are, uh, يعني, uh, something insignificant. Haptin, كلمه haptin يعني شيء something not not significant, very small. Um, I should not even give it thought. That was a happiness. So, but it's not immunogenic on their own because they cannot activate helper T cells. They are not peptide and they are not large enough. معناته هنا وصلنا لنقطة تانية مهمة for a peptide to be immunogenic. أولا, I have to have مش one peptide in itself. ما بزبط كيف أنا أعمل peptide amino acid أعمل له أعمل له immune response. ما أنا بستخدم amino acids in my own in my own proteins. معناته I will be immunogenic against all my everything in the world, every peptide in the world, including my own. معناته I have to have a specific sequence of peptides in a specific folding way. معناته they have to be large enough to be to have a few um, a few number of peptides that are folded in a specific manner to be immunogenic. هل it happens they are too short and they are also even not even peptides. So that's why they are not presented by APCs. It happens هو الإشي نحنا بندرسه عشان نحكي how فهمنا كيف ال 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 non peptides how they can also induce an immune response. فحكي نحنا مثلاً we have a T cell independent antigens that can form antibodies by binding directly to B cells. حكينا عن المحاضرة الماضية and haptins cannot activate B cells by themselves. However, their ability to cause immune response is due to their ability to bind to other molecules that help them become larger. فخلينا هلا to double our knowledge on something. حكينا ال MHC one and two can only bind peptides. بس ال B cell شو على رأسها? What does it present antigen with? And what does it? عفوا مش what does it present antigen with? What does it bind? Surface. What is the surface receptor for the B cell that binds antigens? And not presents antigens. It would IgM. It has a different. The T cell and that issue is different. It has a T cell receptor. So the B cell, because it only has IgM on its surface, or rather we will talk about it more. It can then bind directly to other things other than peptides, and then it can process them. عشان هيك تقدر تعمل an independent process without being activated by T cell. هلا The haptins to activate B cells, they cannot activate B cells because if the B cell wants to present the antigen to the T cell, it has to present it on MHC2. MHC2 can only bind peptide, so it will not be able to present this. It will not be activated by the T cell. So what do haptins do? Haptins go and then bind other molecules, and by binding to other molecules, مثلاً 
ثلاث اربع هابتنز دي باين وان بيج مولكيول اند ذي بيكم ا لارج مولكيول هل هم صار عندهم ذي كفر ذا فيرست بيجز اللي هو ذي ار نوت لارج انف سو ناو ذي ار لارج انف بس المشكله الثانيه اف ذي اف اي ونت تو بريزنت ذيم تو ذا تي سيل تو سي دي 4 سيل تو بيكم اكتيف ذيس از نوت ا بيبتايد يت شو بتروح بتساوي ذيس لارج مولكيول ذات ات باينز ات جوز باينز ا بروتين معناته ناو ات ساتيسفايد بوث requirements now it is large enough because it's bound to a large molecule and this molecule happens to be a protein for now it is a protein happen هذا جزء منه هو protein and it is large enough so now it can be presented to uh, a T cell so now the second channel specificity is satisfied هلا طيب اذا هذا البروتين carrier protein and it is usually a self protein i will not react to it because i know this is not self protein فشو بتروح بتساوي السبيسيفيسيتي اللي بدك تاخده من من ال ال السبيسيفيك بارت من هذا اللارج مولكيول ناو which is made up of a carrier protein carrier protein and happens the specific part who will happen and the protein part that who will carrier protein and this is how it is this is how it happens so it is binding to IgM that is specific to another molecule now the carrier happen is large enough and specific enough to interact with IgM receptor on the B cell فمعناته البي الهابتن بدخل مثلا بنسلين مولكيول فيو بنسلين مولكيولز بايند بروتين هلا بيجي عليها البي سيل هذا المولكيول بتيجي تمسك على الاي جي ام تبع الريسبتور اند ذن ات بيكمز انتينالايز بيكوز از ناو لارج انف اند الاي جي ام بكون السبيسيفيسيتي تبعها راح يكون ضد الهابتن اللي هو البنسلين مولكيول فات از سبيسيفيك تو بنسلين And the penicillin is large enough because now it's bound to a carrier protein, so it binds it. IgM can bind it and can bind it, and then can the B cell can internalize it, and then the B cell now can process it and go present it on MHC1. For the penicillin, بما إنه مش بروتين مش peptide, it can't be on MHC1, but because it is bound to a protein, the protein with the haptin with the penicillin molecule, for example, will be bound on MHC2 and then present it to the CD4 cell. Once it is presented to the CD4 cells, what will happen? Production of interleukin 2. Once interleukin 2 is produced, خلاص. I am now activated against penicillin. هذا بني آدم بصير طول عمره because now I have clonal proliferation. I have memory cells, right? Once I I activate the CD4 cell, I activate the B cell. Now I have clonal proliferation. I have memory cells. I am always that patient is always. Allergic to penicillin. Will will the penicillin allergy will it ever go away? No. Any allergy will it ever go away? No. Because now why? Because I have clonal proliferation and I have memory. So that's what happens here. And, and now let's go uh, review this. So you have the B cell, high carrier protein. Now it's bound to haptin. Haptin the halo, it will not, it will but it might it might be specific enough. It is specific for the IgM, but it's, it's, it's too small for the IgM to recognize it. And يعني زي ما تحكي إنه إنه مش heavy enough to produce a signal that this IgM receptor is occupied. But if it is bound to carry protein, it is heavy enough to say, well, the IgM and I have I have. For high the specific part, or high the heavy part. So now IgM can say, I am occupied by my specific protein. High the IgM receptor, take it. It will take it. It will go present an epitope of the carrier protein, not the haptin, because the haptin cannot be produced on the on the MHC class protein. The MHC class protein, I can only produce. I put on it. Carrier protein, I can't put on it. I can only put on peptides, not haptins. So I go. I go. High B cell is specifically mean specifically the haptin, but it cannot go bind the haptin on the MHC two, عشان to be activated. So it can only be. فشو بتروح تعمل؟ بتروح بتجيب الكاري البروتين and then goes to the T cell بتعمل the processing بتروح لل T cell تحكي هاي هاي الكاري البروتين that was bound to the haptin activate me so it gets activated interleukin four interleukin five I it is it is activated by interleukin two now B cell is active so now I am clonal proliferation memory for the IgM that is now specific to the haptin so now I am making antibodies that mean That happens. So now I am penicillin allergic. And that's what happens in in within haptins, and that is the classically studied mechanism. How the two, 
هاو اي كان برودوس هاو اي كان نفس هاي النقطة هي نقطة انه هاو اي كان برودوس مش بس هابتنز anything else that is not peptide how I can present it to a helper T cell and get activated for it كيف انا بقدر اعمله فمعناته هلا احنا عندنا طريقتين يا انه الاي جي ام لحاله يمسك a non specific او عفوا non lipid non peptide molecule الاي جي ام لحاله without being activated by the T cell I can have T cell independent activation or if I want to be activated I have to bind it to a protein process that protein get produced on the MHC2 the helper T cell be activated and then I have I'm producing IgM and then maybe if I then produce IgG whatever to whatever specific molecule in this case in this scenario and we can happen so we must we need to stress on first thing you know uh, happen must be must bind to a self-tolerant protein to be internalized so if it was a protein as an antigenic it won't have the chance to bind with it so the heart in the halo must bind to a self protein معناته انا لازم امس الاقي لي كارير بروتين otherwise i'm not immunogenic يعني انا مش بروتين هاي النقطه الاولى النقطه الثانيه انه both together will they become immunogenic and then the haptin will modify the carrier enough هل الكارير هو سيلف بروتين ليش انا بصير اعمل بهيك بصير انا اعمل immune بصير اعمل immune response against my self protein but the binding to the haptin to the carrier protein راح يغير شكل الكارير بروتين انف that it is allowed to be presented على MHC2 and then the T cell receptor would be able to recognize it بكرة راح نحكي او قدام راح نحكي انه the way I make T cells is I make, I make them in the thymus one of the mechanisms why I'm making them in the thymus I make sure that they do not react to self proteins if they react to self proteins while I, am, while I am training them in the thymus while I am making them if they react to self proteins, I'm going to put them self proteins. Put them self proteins. If they react to self proteins, I kill them. فكيف أنا بدي أقو بعدين أمسك لها الكارير بروتين أو and then go اللي هو self protein وروح أحطه مع الهابتن وروح أعطيه لل لهذا. So the kill the self protein has to be changed enough to become immunogenic. عشان هيك مش كل الناس are allergic to penicillin because they have to have this modification to be enough and their T cell re receptor to be, to have a one have a T cell receptor that is able to recognize this small modification for them to be allergic. allergic. Only few people are allergic to certain proteins. So IgA, IgE mediated anaphylaxis is a type one types of hypersensitivity that can be caused by happens cross-linking of IgE and immunoglobulins for mediated anaphylaxis. This happens when multiple haptans شو يعني مثلا عندي كثير هابتنز آه مثلا مش واحد مثلا 100 كلهم ارتبطوا في بروتين واحد now this is able to bind more than one IgE and cross link them على هذا بتعرفوا انه هيستامين uh, is released by cross linking of مثلا the, the, the histamine receptor the same thing if you cross link the IgE receptor you can increase you can, you can uh, release a huge amount of, uh, of histamine histamine is, is, is an anaphylactic producer ف you can see من هنا if I want to see skin test هل بني آدم هذا allergic to something and then I will see هل هو عنده IgE موجود على الهستامين عفوا عفوا موجود على ال ال الهستامين releasing cells هل عليه ال IgE ضد هذا الهابتن ومثلا خلينا نحكي penicillin بحط عليه على جلده penicillin it if it can produce a histamine response a large histamine response معناته عنده عنده antibodies against this hapten معناته هي هي is one of the those person people that have produced a reactive is uh, they are reactive to this haptin so they have gone through the whole process of a carrier protein and modification of carrier protein and finding the T cell receptor to bind it to and then being activated then that person has this condition and he is reactive to this molecule um, so so هذا فهم اللي عملنا عن الهابتنز gave us a, a positive in, had a, obviously a positive impact on healthcare. بما لما فهمنا الهابتنز وفهمنا الكونجيكيشن of to, to proteins وفهمنا إنه مثلاً إذا أنا بدي شغلة إذا الهابتن كان مش بروتين it was able to bind a carrier protein once bound to the carrier protein عمل لي هال هال هالimmune response 
that give us an idea to make certain types of vaccines. But I can عندي مثلا polysaccharide على الموجود هو على ال capsules تبعون ال a lot of bacteria مثلا Haemophilus, Neisseria, Pneumococcus, whatever. They have vaccine. They have capsules made of polysaccharides. كيف بدي أعمل أنا vaccine ضد polysaccharide واللي هو مش peptide. For now, from understanding happens, we go and get carrier protein, and then we bind this cap polysaccharide, which is unique to this hemophilus or pneumococcus or whatever, and then we bind it to a protein, and now I have something that will induce this. So, I'm going to put the hepatin. Should happen, we go and get the polysaccharide, the capsule, the bacteria, and put it with carrier protein, and then I will have all this ability to induce. Produce proteins against this specific polysaccharide. Uh, so antigen epitope properties. So although antibody antigen interaction is highly specific, uh, the binding force is is between them is sometimes not uh, very strong, and this strength is proportionate to how how well does the antibody bind the antigen? And each time you meet this antigen more, actually we, our mechanism, we modify our antibodies to become even stronger and stronger to, to make more and more bonds against this antigen and make it more and more specific each, each and every time you meet it. So we have a fine-tuning mechanism. So molecule features that determine the ability to cause an immune response. I wonder if it has to be foreign. Again, it has to be large enough. It has to be a peptide or bound to a peptide. Uh, and it has to be non-self. So it does not look like any of my proteins. To no self. The way I do it is that I to be out of self. If they are all self, all proteins are all of Then if you meet anything else other than this, this is not me. Go ahead and and react to this. If you react to mine, then I will kill you. That's basically the the, the way how we stop autoimmunity. فكل مكان the protein is more complex. كل مكان more immunogenic because I will be able to make more uh, uh, more specific antibodies to to them. The shape and the uniqueness of the chemical structure and the and the the, the epitope of the protein will give it more immunogenicity. So sometimes the route, the the dose and the timing of an antigen can can improve or hinder immunogenicity. We will talk about this later. And then we talk adjuvants. So adjuvants basically are, يعني إيشي إضافة على حكينا إلى الآن. هم they are boosters for immunity. So it's an immunogen that can enhance the immune system against this chemical protein bound substance. So it's not covalently bound to the immunogen, but they are chemically unrelated to it. KF, these adjuvants perform the function is that they prolong the stimulus uh, that is being made by this uh, protein or whatever that you're trying to have an immune response to. So, مثلا بتضيف aluminum hydroxide or lipids to a certain vaccine, so you recruit a lot more. You induce a more higher immune response. You recruit a lot more APCs and a lot more immune players that will come, and then you will have a larger reaction against your vaccine that you are trying to produce. That's what an adjuvant is. It's improving and a booster for uh, an immune an immunogen. After issue, we age and immune response. We have to know that. Our uh, antibodies have a half life, and they, they, they decay over over time. The extremes of life, the baby who will not, I can know they met, if met nothing has no active immunity. Obviously, they have a weak immune response. Will come on, relax. As you age, the older people get, this the 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 weaker is your immune response. I can immune response. Who will be meek min, min infections, who be meek min cancer, who be meek min all these things. So that's why older people are prone to more infections and are prone to have cancers because the immune system becomes weaker. So what happens, you know, you start losing memory, you start losing memory cells, you start losing 
uh, antibodies, you start losing cells, you start losing things that you have, you have built up over time, and that, that creates holes in the immune response. So as mentioned, antibodies are provided primarily by transfer of maternal IgG hakina through the placenta. Uh, IgA uh, decays over time. Colostrum also contains antibodies, which is the first. Uh, it's the first. The first milk produced from by the mother is colostrum. It's full of antibodies, it's full of, of proteins that are needed by the babies, especially secretory IgA, which will coat the entire respiratory and intestinal tract to give him because the baby ma'andu in the IgA and IgA is the main secretory antibody so this is where you get they get it from the milk and from the mother and they get all their IgA to cover their, their mucous membranes from the mother and they get all their IgG through the placenta into their blood from out of their blood is covered by IgG and their uh, mucous membranes are now covered by the colostrum with IgA and obviously all these will decay over time uh, IgM, who is less specific in the fetus, can be mounted. But it can make the, the T cell independent pathway at the beginning. Uh, then they start producing their own IgG and IgA. And in these age, age groups, the immune response to protein based antigens is usually good. So, uh, non protein based are poor activators at these age. And yani polysaccharides, مثلاً, you can't use it. So, you have to use either the dextachdem. إذا بدك تستخدم vaccine that is unconjugated يعني مش موجود على carrier protein it, it will not work so you have to use a conjugated pro, uh, vaccines for this عشان هيك age group هذا كله we give them uh, uh, conjugated proteins in the elderly حكينا immunity usually declines and there's a reduced IgG response against antigens and fewer T cells and زي ما حكينا كل شيء بقل and in the very young the frequent sensitivity infections are uh, maybe high, who is a car, methanan, wahad, who is a zakar, methan, umrak, ashes, need, six, need, seven, need. You have severe infections. The swell and the tick bar you have, they are less severe. Autoimmune disease, the other one will elderly ala, il cancer ala, will infections ala because of the decline of the regulatory T cells and all the immune shismo players. These are questions from the book. You can look at them here, had it like young slides as well. And that completes today's lecture.